Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome to a quick update on the goings-on in Jagged Alliance 2. Uh, it's not going to be a full-length episode, but I feel like it's been several days, maybe a week, since I've posted anything for the game, and I didn't want you guys to think that it had been abandoned or anything like that. Uh, I've still been playing, there's just not been much to show. Uh, I've kind of been digging my heels in and been placed on the defensive for a while. Uh, of course, we have just taken both Alma and Grum, and so counterattacks have started happening there. I actually haven't had to defend Alma yet at all, although as you can see, forces are sort of surrounding it, and that's likely to start soon. The last two days in game have just been like massive attacks against the Grum mine. Uh, I'm actually going to pop in here and just to give you guys some visuals of going on while I uh, talk. Um, Standing the... by. I got that feeling I always get just before all hell breaks loose. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. You pal. The uh, last assault against Grum I had thought was like, oh, okay, that's that's the counterattack. Uh, we defended against Yo, it. Had some heads. injuries, uh, but characters had, had like a day to heal up. Things were going okay. And then the following night I got assaulted again, and that's what's going on right now. Uh, this fight's been happening for a while. All my militia were sort of fighting out here. You can see all the dead bodies and just blood everywhere. Uh, and my mercs are more or less kind of dug in right here. We've been making lines out of chem lights and just trying to uh, hold our own back here. Pretty sure I picked up noise, man. I heard something strange. Been having some uh, definite supply line issues in all of this as well. Uh, we've kind of turned the game into the Bullets, Band-Aids, and Beans Simulator Yo. 2016. But uh, Standing by. that's, that's going to explain maybe why we've got a lot of exotic ammo going on right now. A lot of uh, like hollow points and glazer rounds that are really not super effective <laughs> at this later stage of the gameplay. Yo. But they're like all we yeah. have left. Oh, jeez. Damn. In the uh, the caliber of weapons that we've Yo, got. Boneheads. So, that's the sort of what's been going on. Is just, uh, I've been fighting for the city of Grum and its freedom and other such patriotic, God. oh, God, things. Um, I oh. intend to get videos back up of the game uh, as soon as there's forward progress to be making. Uh, my assumption is... The A team is probably going to move south to take Orta, while the B team uh, moves west into Tixa. Bomber. Yep, you're a guy. Um, once uh, those two... You just earned yourself a good cleaning, Mr. Gun. <laughs> Mr. Gun. Once those two sectors have been taken, then it's just a straight shot into... Standing by. Dead by the strength sounds around me. The uh, final city. Uh, faint sound of movement comes from the north. West? Oh, right. Northwest. That would make a ton of sense. Okay. Forgot I would repositioned Gaston. Recently he was over there before. Um, then, then it's just kind of a straight shot into the, uh, the city to take the Queen's Palace. So maybe another half a dozen, ten episodes, something like that, until uh, we are through Jagged Damn. Alliance 2. I heard something strange. <laughs> It has been an awesome playthrough thus far, and I hope it continues to be one in the future. Standing by. Uh, again, I don't think that uh, anybody's particularly Aww. interested in seeing me defend like right. the Grum Mind repeatedly. Um, if I was showing this kind of stuff on the regular, you'd be seeing uh. like an hour-long fight uh. of me defending the, the this sector. Immediately followed by a video of an hour-long fight of me defending this exact same sector. And the Standing tactics are going to look the same. I'm probably going to have characters in like the exact same positions, taking the exact same shots. I get that it would get Standing repetitive by. fairly quickly. So uh, that's kind of why it's it's not shown off much. Pop some automatic fire over there. And uh, our chem lights have all worn off. That's a little bit terrifying. Uh, let me... I do actually have to live through all this. So uh, yes, sir. that might be something that I want to make. Yo better soon fence are you the only one left with chem lights oh my god these are the supply problems that i'm talking about as you can see we've gotten a little bit light on uh, equipment and ammunition all right well i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up like i said i uh i just wanted to dissuade any 
concerns uh, any of you might have. Obviously, Darkest Dungeon saw its final release uh, this week, and I've been doing a lot with that series. There have been a lot of episodes coming out for that. It doesn't mean that this game is getting ignored or that I'm not putting just as much time into Dragon Lights 2 as I am into Darkest Dungeon. It just means that I don't always have uh, video content to produce for this game. So hopefully this scratched a little bit of an itch. You got to see some uh, tiny pixelated characters shoot people in the face, uh, at least for five minutes or so. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys next time.